Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here, and just me and the critters. Show you the critter cam. There's a critter. Right here, Charlie. Oh, did you see? Charlie! What are you doing? Are you being a lazy puppy again? Are you? Guys, probably a real bored of seeing him this way, but this is how he is most of the time, right, Charlie? Charlie. He just kind of follows me from, from area to area. I'm not going to say room to room because we're living in an RV. It's kind of hard to have. Yes, and that's the sun. I guess they just call them sun visors. There it is in the window. Um, it is April 14th. 2017 um, Friday afternoon. It is 1:52 p.m. Brad is down at the bathhouse, getting ready to, you know, bathing. We just lost cell phone service just a little bit ago. So, if you are one of my friends that texts me, um, I'm I I won't get it. You can still message me on Facebook, and I'll get that. But yeah, right now, and he didn't have any cell phone service either and yes we paid our bill and everything so I don't know what's going on so you know he's going to call them when he gets to work and stuff so but uh, yeah and I mean I was on the middle of a phone call with uh, my uh, granddaughter and it bleeped out so yeah anyway um, let me do the weather dun 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 Let's see weather, weather. It is 78 degrees right now. Real fill is 82. The high will be 82. The low will be 64. So that's what the weather's like. Yesterday, let's see. Yesterday, I was not feeling real hot. And as the day wore on, I, I became to feel worse and worse with kind of a chest cold and, and a head and chest cold. Uh, you know, where you cough, you can really feel it in your lungs and stuff. Um, so by the time the evening rolled around, uh, I was actually texting with a friend of mine, um, and I sent her the text instead of my husband because I was texting with her, and then I decided to text him and say, you know, I'm really not feeling well, how about just some uh, garlic bread and tomato soup, and I accidentally sent it to her because it wasn't anything naughty or anything, and, uh, I realized what I did. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, she, I think she'd probably laugh. And she's like, well, no, it sounds good. And uh, and I told her I meant it for my husband. So um, you know how that happens. So he did. We already had the French, the Italian bread, got it marked down. And uh, so he bought a couple cans of tomato soup. And that was very soothing and stuff. Um, so... That's what we did for dinner. Um, since I wasn't feeling real hot, I did not paint. Um, and so you always can tell if I'm not feeling well or I'm having to be sit more because I get more looming down, you know. So I got four hats done yesterday. So I got this one done. This is a, a large adult. And uh, the colors are pretty true. So, yeah, that's what I got done on that one. I think it's pretty and then I got a small adult one done same yarn just used a different way so yep then I got a toddler hat done and so that's the way that is and then I got a baby hat done <laughs> always reminds me of you know the three bears but this is like the four bears so, there's this one, too. So, those are what I got done yesterday. Those will all go in the great big donation bag. Um, got another one started. And what else did I do? Let's see. Talked with my granddaughter a couple of times. I talked with my niece for a couple hours. I talked with my wonderful friend. My well, I have two best friends besides my husband. I talked to Linda Kay. She's, oh, we always have so much fun. 
Um, I love talking with her. She just, we talk about anything and everything. You know how it just kind of naturally flows? And, um, you know, she is so talented in so many things she does. She sews, she does, she still does cross stitch and embroidery. Um, she uh, does knitting. She does crochet. She does loom knitting. And I don't know, she probably does a million other things that I don't know yet. I think she said she did, does some jewelry and stuff. But she just so talented. You should see the little bear that she made for um, Cheryl. Cheryl Coyote. Because her sweet mama just passed away not too long ago. And what um, Linda does is she makes memory bears out of piece of clothing. So Cheryl sent her um, piece of clothing that uh, her mother loved. And she made the cutest little memory bear out of it. Um, and so if you're looking to have anything of those done, she does that. I don't know what she charges, um, uh, but they're super cute. And I know she won't charge you that much. Uh, she'll keep it fair. She always does. She's just a uh, beautiful soul. And um, I love talking to her about yarn, of course. And uh, then I tell her about the ribbon embroidery and stuff. But she hasn't done in it. But I know that she was talking about embroidery and using French knots and stuff. And it's like, you know, that's all that this is. So, um, oh, I was talking to her about, you know, those magnifying rulers that you use for cross stitch or to read patterns. They use sometimes use them on quilting patterns. And then you have a great big magnetic or metal board that goes underneath the pattern. Well, because she was saying about her eyesight, and I'm like, you know, I have an extra, so I'm going to send her that and the steel board, or metal board, and then um, I sent her a link for the ribbon embroidery, she's like, oh yeah, you know, she was excited, and I said, you know, I've got so much ribbon, you know, that I'll never probably use it in my lifetime, I'm the type, why keep something stockpiled if I can share it with a friend, I always tell my husband, like, candy is best shared, um, uh, you know, uh, craft supplies, if you have something extra, it's best shared. She's sending me some yarn, which I very much will appreciate. I'm sending her, you know, so, some of the ribbon, and I'm sending, uh, I'm going to look through my patterns see if I'm having extra. If not, I know they're free ones. But, you know, so I'm going to send that out to her next week. And uh, some uh, hair scrunchies that I am making. For her and for another friend that I'm going to be mailing out. Um, basically because it's getting to be warmer weather and stuff. So we always want to throw our hair up. Um, so talked with her. Who else I talked to? I text with a couple of other friends. Um, I think that was about it. I don't know. I was pretty busy. What Brad call, says socializing. So, and just sitting and looming. Um, playing with the puppies. That kind of stuff. I w wanted to start um, doing some over dyeing of yarn yesterday. Last night, but I just was not feeling well. So I'm doing that right now. I have this humongous ball of white yellow yarn. That I think Deep Martin gave me a... Uh, over a year ago and while I love the yarn I really wanted to to lay some other dye colors on it so what I'm doing right now and I'm following the instructions that I found on here on YouTube there's lots of different ones I'm doing it in a crock pot I'm using using Easter egg dye and um, I soaked the yarn overnight in the water and white vinegar Crockpot wasn't on. It was just in there. And then today, my husband and I put, we used both boxes of Easter egg dye with the pellets. Because you got to put way in there, and this ball of yarn is humongous. Um, and so I have that on high right now, letting it cook. And then once the water is clear, I know that the yarn has absorbed it all. I even have <laughs> dye on my fingers and stuff. So this is what it looked like right after we got done putting it in. And last time I looked at it, 
Now the outer edges of that are purple and the inner uh, inside the thinner is the green. So it's, it's interesting. I've always wanted to mess with that. So, you know, but I should have wound that into Big Hank, the yarn, and not left it. I mean, the ball was um, not tight, tight, tight. So it was fairly loose, but I should have done it because now I'm going to have to really mess with once I get it out and, and run it until, you know, rinse it and everything. I'm going to have to hang it outside the way it is to let it drip dry and then go back in a day or two and rewind it. You know, to let it finish drying. So, but you live and you learn. Some something interesting. I'm hoping now find a bunch of Easter egg dye, massively marked down after Easter. That would be nice. Um. So, and then I want to do some painting today. I wasn't well enough yesterday to do any painting, and I want to play with some different techniques. I'm gonna look at some stuff on that. Um. I'm going to um. Make breakfast burritos for dinner. Um, Brad bought me another can of soup for for uh, what I would call my lunch. And um, then do some more loom knitting. That's about it. And hope my phone service. It must be an outage all over. So, um, so like I said, if you're trying to get a hold of me, I hope you don't get alarmed. I just Facebook message message me and I will get to you. Um, what else can I tell you guys? That is about it. Just I feel much better today, by the way. Yes. So I took cold medicine last night. Took some Elka Celsa cold. So did Brad, and I feel a lot, lot, lot better. So I'm a pretty tough cookie. I mean, it used to be that I got sick at the drop of a hat, and I would be sick for a long time, and Especially ever since moving here, I really haven't been. I mean, cause I used to be down and out with colds for months. I mean, with prednisone and the really super strong antibiotics and everything, I was always in the doctor. And you know, I still have a little bit of a sore throat, but that's about it. Uh, my leg is healing up super good. I mean, it's almost all the way healed up, so that's awesome. I'm still, I think I have two more days of the antibiotic and then I'll be done. Be glad for that. Um, that's about all we got going on. Um, you know, just a beautiful day. It's Good Friday for those of you that have observed. Um, you know, Easter's a couple of days away. Tomorrow I need to do a bunch of cooking. I need to do the potato salad. Um, that one friend of ours we were going to drop off some dinner with, he actually is going to spend Easter with some friends, so that's great. Um, so, you know, it just be us. Uh, I'll cook it up ahead of time so Brad can eat. Be I, We think he works Sunday night. So he can eat before he goes to work, and then he can also take some to work. So that's all good. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um... He's loving his barbecue grill. He barbecued hamburgers out here a little bit ago. Um, I, went, I went ahead and bought like whole chickens this week instead of, you know, it's like a dollar ninety nine a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breast, which, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a decent price. But since he has the grill now and stuff, I just bought whole chickens at 97 cents a pound. I don't mind cutting them up a bit. And that way... You know, I like it when he grills if we cook extra because then, you know, we have some leftovers. So, um, dogs are all good. Cats are all good. We're all good. I've been staying inside a little bit more than normal, a little bit more than I actually really want to because the sand fleas are really bad right now. And, um, I'm trying not to get a severe allergic reaction again. Um, I'll probably go outside tomorrow, uh, you know, uh, my neighbor's not doing well, she's still in the hospital, we haven't heard anything, but, um, Brad went outside to water the plants earlier, and I, I said to him, you know, maybe we should, you should step over and wa water their plants and stuff, because, you know, he hasn't been home in two nights, um, 
and because uh, you know he's either at work or he's up at the hospital and um, you know you just want to do something to help so that's the least we could do is just you know because our hose was long enough and just water their plants so those don't die while while they're going through this uh, you know another thing I thought I could if I see him out and about that I could do that would help would be to offer to do their laundry um, you know if he got it ready and left it I could do it while he's at work and stuff because you know when you're trying to take care of somebody at home if she gets to come home you know that's the day-to-day -day living stuff is really hard to do you know so if I see him around we haven't called even though we have his phone number because you don't know when's a good time to call because he is still working and then running up there. So I mean, you don't want to call him when he's at work. You don't know whether to call him when he's at the hospital or not. They do have family here and stuff. So, you know, just kind of playing it by ear. Playing it by ear. You know. Everybody continue to play for, pray for Stevie Counts because she's still going through some stuff, some personal stuff. I'm not, not going to say what it is, but just she could use some prayers, um, you know, because, uh, you know, life hands you a lot of challenges. And it certainly is doing its number on her this year. <laughs> so, but anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. And I don't really have a topic for today, except for don't be afraid. Oh, I do have a, a short one. Don't be afraid to reach out in your creativity. It's okay if you try doing something and you majorly mess it up and it's just horrible and you have to scrap the whole thing. Like, I wanted to be a jewelry maker. I sure did, okay? I wanted to be a jewelry maker. I wanted to. I love beads and colors. I am not a jewelry maker. I will admit it. I admire people that can make beautiful jewelry like Leanne, uh, my friend Colleen, Ragged07 makes some beautiful jewelry. She is a one talented lady. My friend Patricia, um, you know, uh, I know Tracy B does. I know that um, uh, Cheryl Coyote makes some really neat, very cool jewelry and stuff. I am not a jewelry maker, you know. I mean, so, but don't be afraid to try. I can say now, okay, I tried that. I don't know if this yarn will turn out, but I tried that. Worst case scenario on the yarn, it, if it's just, just a bomb and it's just the ugliest thing ever is I could get some black dye. So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because Brad's coming back. And remember that I love you guys and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I do think you guys are awesome. Say hi, Brad. Hi, Brad. Now say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.